Hi, I'm Kat, and today I'm showing you how to make this miniature ice cream parlor. Yes, I know it's the winter time. I'm so sorry. I actually made this video back in July or August when I was in the middle of my move. And because I never had a chance to edit it and post it at that particular time, you know, moving is hard, um, it's coming up now. So, sorry, and I hope you enjoy. This video was requested by Pearl from Dollhouse Diva's Miniature World, and she sent me this picture in and asked if I could replicate this particular um, shop from Germany. And I decided instead of a bread shop, it would become an ice cream park. So, hope you enjoy the video. To start this project, I'm using two extra jumbo popsicle sticks. And since uh, when you cut the tips off of these, these are about seven inches long, I gave them an additional inch each to make them eight full inches. Glue that little piece onto the other longer piece, and then glue those two pieces together. You can use jumbo popsicle sticks and cut those into three inch pieces. Then place one on either side so that you have a two inch block in between. Then you want to use the same super jumbo popsicle stick, super jumbo popsicle stick, and then jumbo popsicle stick pattern to create two more two and a half inch pieces. Glue one to either side and then one on the inside where the break is. Then take two additional pieces of a super extra jumbo popsicle stick and cut that into two and a half inch pieces as well and glue that into the center as a counter. Then to extend our counter, I'm going to use popsicle sticks cut into three inch pieces. Three of them will do. Glue those into a little box. And instead of enclosing that uh, black side, you're going to glue that up against the wall of the counter. But you can enclose the sides with additional pieces from popsicle sticks. Glue that directly in the center. You can use additional pieces of popsicle sticks cut into three inch pieces to go along the sides as a decorative item. Now I'm adding in a skinny stick at the bottom just to extend that just a little bit more. And then I went on ahead and added some wood putty and sanded it out. Once I had it smoothed, I'm going to give this a base coat of black paint. And you're not going to really see this paint so you don't have to worry too much about it being a neat job. And now I'm going to go in ahead and lay on top of it um, a series of coffee stir sticks. Just cut these into the length that you need and lay them in place. And this project, by the way, is why I have so many coffee stir stick scraps. Now I'm painting this with two coats of a dark brown paint, making sure to get the sides, but keep in mind it's not going to cover the black in the center. Then I use additional coffee stir sticks and line those out along the top portion of the counter. This is going to hold my ice cream trays. Going ahead and paint the front counter on the inside and the out. And I gave this a slightly darker brown color just by adding a little bit of black to the paint. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm going to use some additional coffee stir sticks and cut these to the length of the counter. Then cut those in half. And I'm using a silver leafing pen to make these into a silver color, but of course you can also use paint. I'm using a cereal box to cut holes in. And these holes are about 15 millimeters or about the size of a dime. And as you can see, I had to cut my cereal box into several different strips in order to make sure I could reach all the holes with my punch. That's why they're crooked when I glue them back in place. Then you can place the silver strips of wood along the sides and the front and the back. I created ice cream using polymer clay and these are made uh, on top of the punches that I punched out of the cereal box. I simply placed the clay on top of the hole that was punched out, rounded it out, and then added in decorative details. Modeling of course was done with the clay by mixing two colors together and twisting it, looping it, and mixing it until I had the desired effect. And then any of the things like the Neapolitan or the Sherbert, those were smooshed together just to give that particular pattern and then anything with chips was the solid color or the marble color with darker flecks of um, clay on top. Next we're going to texture these. So first I'm going to use the back of my paintbrush to add some scoop marks. Just pull some of the clay towards you. Then I go through and texture a little more with my toothbrush. And this is a baby's toothbrush. It's a little finer and a little softer than the adult toothbrushes that you find, even the soft ones. And then finally, I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife and go through and add small horizontal lines from one side of the scoop to the other. That just gives it that nice little ice cream ripple texture. And you've seen me use this before in my plants video, but this is bond tape. And it's basically aluminum foil backed with adhesive. Now in this case, and in most cases that I use bond tape, I don't pull the adhesive off. I'm going to go in ahead and cut this into a small strip that's about 2 inches, 3 inches long. And then I'm going to cut each of those strips into varying lengths or heights. Some of the pieces I cut into thirds, and some of the pieces I cut into fourths or even six strips. That way my ice cream can sit at different levels in the counter. Then wrap the bond tape foil side in around the baked ice cream. Then wrap the bond tape foil side in around the ice cream. You can use a noodle tool or a toothbrush in order to bring this up to the wall and glue the bond tape in place. You can put these directly in the oven with the bond tape and bake it at this point. And here are all my little baked ice creams. Glue each of the ice creams with the ice cream side down onto the bottom of the counter. Now I'm using some pieces of plastic from some packaging. I'm going to make a right angle with one two and a half inch piece and one one and a half inch piece. I'm using E6000 to glue these together because it is a mostly clear glue. And then once I had my right angle formed, I'm going to trace that same angle.
and draw a diagonal line from one end to the bottom. That will create a template for an additional piece of plastic. that I can now cut out and glue into place on either side. I use an additional E6000 to glue the plastic packaging onto the countertop, leaving the side open. You can close the side at this point, I just chose not to do so to make things easier for me. And for ice, you can use crushed glass or um, any of the commercially made ice. In this case, I'm using a mixture of this same little glass container that this is in, which is not actually glass. It's a cheap plastic from a dollar store and also some rock salt. Add a little glue just along the sides of where your ice cream will go and then shake it around to get it in place. off your excess and once I had my ice in place I realized I really wanted a little bit more of a stronger border around my ice cream so I had to use my ball tool to scrape up some of my plastic salt ice out of the way and now I'm going to use the same punch and one that was slightly larger and I'm using the foil from an aluminum baking pan one of the disposable ones and I'm punching with the smaller punch and then right around it with the larger punch to give it a rim. Flatten that piece out with your fingers and then use a little glue to place that around the ice cream container. There, I like that much better. I reapplied some of my ice and then used some additional Coffee Stir Sticks to line the sides and the front of the counter. And this way this covers the bead of E6000 that you can now see poking out from underneath. Paint that the match the rest of your counter and I'm adding a thick layer of matte varnish and I'm choosing matte because this doesn't need to be a shiny piece but I'm adding a thick layer so that that way it gets in between the crevices and cracks as well. You can add some painted labels to suggest that there are different flavors of ice cream and that's it. You're done. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye!